tonight. We got Maddie and James. We got the boys from Emo Night behind the bar. All right, let's go back to the uh, virtual questions. We have got live via Skype, Gary from Philadelphia. Wow. What's your question for Maddie? Hey, Gary. Hey, how's it going? Good. Maddie, do, Maddie, do you think Emmy and Will have what it takes to last long distance, or is it going to fizzle out when he leaves for law school? Oh, my God. Is that a Philadelphia accent, or is that a Philadelphia <laughs> yeah. accent? Dude, you Call are... Call Tina Fey. Yeah. All right. Uh, what do you think? Um, Emmy and Will. I think that's tough. He's in law school in a whole other city. I don't know, but I, I think they will. If they've gone through what they've been through on the show and they've made the distance, then I think I'm hopeful for their future now. Very good. Isabella from Boston has a question for James. Hi, James. Hi, Maddie. Hi, Hi Andy. Isabella. How are you? Um, James, what do you think of Jax coming back on TV with The Valley, and what's your relationship like with him now? Good question. It's good, it's good. You know, I'm excited for him. He seems, like, stoked. And, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, and our relationship's good. You know, we're both, we're both Valley boys now. You know what I mean? He lives 10 minutes away. Jaxie boy. You know, I'm happy for him. It's great. <laughs> do you, did the editors do you dirty with the whole airport thing? What airport thing? Oh, oh. <laughs> well, you... Uh, I mean, look. I mean, are, it's ten, are you near Bear, away, ten, Burbank ten Airport? Is that it's where like it is? ten minutes away? It's, I would say it's ten minutes away. You can hear them, but we're honestly used to it. I mean, it doesn't really phase us. It's like, not yeah. that bad. No. But why have you been to? I don't James want to spoil it for everyone. No, I was just funny. asking. Oh, is that bad or not? Right. No, yeah, but you know, you come over, you'll probably hear a plane or two. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, Will F wants to know if you heard from Ariana after you peed in her bush. Yeah, I think I told her out of nerves like that week. I was like, by the way, I peed outside like on the bush. Are you mad? Um, Dale, you wants to know if it bothers you that Grace Lily talks crap about Trevor as much as everyone else does, if not more. Why does she get a free pass? If anything, I feel like she's more pro Trevor than the one talking shit. But if she is talking shit, then I'll listen to what she has to say. What was your reaction when you were DJing at See You Next Tuesday, sorry to interrupt you, that um, Sandoval walked in? Well, that was crazy because I didn't realize he got there that early watching the episode back. I was shocked because I was DJing technically right in front of him, but I didn't see him the whole night. So that was like pretty, that's how busy it was at Sir. That's how crazy it was. But um, yeah. The watching... DJing thing is awesome because you can like kind of hide. I probably would have gone up and... to him and been like, what are you doing here, mate? You know what I mean? Like, it's kind of my night at Sir. It's kind of weird. But, you know, I guess, yeah. Well, everyone was there. Right, no, when Sheena walked in and saw him, she was just like, so they did that stare. It like, lasted forever. Like, she had the glasses on. Yeah, yeah, she's like she out like... of the 90s pop star. Like, <laughs> what's up, Tom? Maddie, Finn S. said, besides James, who's one Bravo celebrity from another show, we'd be surprised to know you hit it off with at BravoCon. Um, I feel like a lot of the Summer House, Vanderpump, Winter House, people were all in that same room Southern together. Hospitality for me as well, like you guys. And then um, Benji as well came to my show in, at Dare Hotel. He's on like uh, car, uh, Family Calm. Uh, yeah. Uh, Benny. Yeah. yeah, I'm so bad Benny. with the names, honestly. But yeah, I met so many great people at BravoCon. They've been like coming Brian to my Benny. shows now. Yes, yes. Yeah, Brian. Brian, he's so nice. And then Schwartz came too. Nice. Um, yeah, that night. That was literally on Friday. You had a show that night. Yeah. You had a show BravoCon weekend. Yeah, 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 yeah. And uh, I'm playing here in New York tomorrow night for Valentine's Day. Marquee. Marquee. Marquee! Headlining. Yeah. Um, yeah, the 14th tomorrow. And um, yeah, it's going to be wow. sick. Ali Luber's going to go with you? Of course. She's my hot date. She's my hot right. date. I know I always get her up on the DJ booth. I'm like, all right, guys, Ali's coming out. And she's like, no. Yeah. I'm like, come on, Ali! And like, I'll get around. We'll do a little toast. And uh, everyone, everyone just starts screaming, chanting her name. So it's yeah. great. It's, it's a moment. You're a moment. Thank you. You're welcome. Jeez, I'm exhausted. Oh, my God. Um, that's because you carried this show on your back tonight. Which one? This one. <laughs> oh, no, no. I'm not even great. I know. Thank I'm just you. kidding. Yeah. Um, I know. You both did great. Yeah, it was funny. It was I fun. love having you. I know. Thank I miss you. it. We're going to come out Thank more you. often. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're fine. Yes. Um, I want to do it with Ali next time. Great. Yeah, I, I think you 
probably do it with Ali every night. Oh, Eddie, yeah, well, you know, that's all right. right. Just kidding. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay, I mean, uh, okay, I gotta go. Uh, I want to thank James and Maddie and the Yay! guys and Ali and Maddie's mom. For more, click around Good night, everybody.